back. Um, we expected it. Uh, Coming in um, as a two seed, yes, we were disappointed not to have a home game, but we knew that we could, we wanted to play. We would play wherever yeah. against whoever. Um, I think we did that tonight. I thought we kind of came out. We were physical. We weren't. We didn't play scared at all. Yeah. Um, and we, we made the plays that we need to make. Yeah, we definitely brought a lot of energy. Um, we knew that if we were pumped up before the game and we were ready and we came out with energy and did what we had practiced and practiced, that we were going to come out strong and go in. Yeah, and we didn't like the pressure. Um, our coach always says pressure is a privilege, so that showed tonight, and we played our team offense and team defense before we lost. I felt like a big turning point in the game. They sort of clawed their back, or clawed their way back. In the second half, they missed a few shots, turned the ball over, I want to say, four or five times in a row. What were you guys doing defensively in the early portion of that second half to kind of disrupt and create shots for yourselves? Um, I think a lot of it was helping the helpers. So when someone goes to help someone else who was weak or something, like this happened, I think helping each other and getting each other's guys. All right. And, uh, Ms. Jernigan, I know early on they kind of held you early. Uh, you were able to get some free throw shots driving to the basket. Was there anything in particular you saw from the defense that kind of allowed you to get to the basket in the second half? Um, yes, sir. I knew that in the beginning I, um, I, it wasn't going our way, and I kind of had to hold myself back. But in the second half, I knew I could attack and get to the rim, and they were going to call a foul, um, which helped us and it helped them get in foul trouble, which got us to the line for one and one more, so it was good. Was there anything they were doing defensively from a schematic standpoint in the first half to kind of prevent you from getting open, prevent you from getting open looks there? Uh, they did a box in one, but I thought Charlie and everyone else did a really good job of rotating the ball and getting the open shots, so it was good. Gotcha. How important was it, I mean, obviously, to... to um, just keep hitting those key shots. I mean, you curate, Grace, you had that big three-pointer. Um, I mean, and you had a big offensive rebound in there, too, if I remember right. Um, yeah, I mean, how important was it just uh, every time they made a little spurt to just make, like, one or two really big baskets? Yeah, we have this saying called bear. So as soon as the game, we know the game's tight and we can take it over, we can yell bear. Uh -huh. And so we yelled bear there, so we knew we had to get the next possession. And so yeah. every possession's important, so we all just made sure as a team we got that next possession. Help important or fulfilling or whatever the word may be for you um, coming back here? <laughs> uh, it's I mean, it's like a home game, but not really <laughs> yeah. for you. It kind of is, you know? Yeah, it was nice. I like to say, I played my first home game here, and I, I played my last home game here, uh -huh. so I got to have all my friends and family support me, and it's really nice because this is where my mom saw me play, so mm -hmm. I got to have everyone back here. I guess in terms of this game, obviously not at Bishop McGinnis, played over here. Um, how did that change the pregame approach in terms of the routine for this group? It was hard on the seniors because we expected to have, coming off of that third round, win, to have a home game. So it was really disheartening for us because, you know, you, it's, your, it's your last home game as a senior that you like, have a chance at. But, again, we had to, had to have the mindset of playing wherever against whomever. No one, no one complained. Everyone was just like, okay, things we happen. It, yeah. We're going to be here, and we're going to win wherever we're playing. We're heading back to the regionals. Um, how do you feel about that? I'm so excited. We're excited. Yeah. We're pumped. We're ready. And, uh, I know you guys. Uh, they played you guys very close the first time you guys had played. Was there anything that you took from that first matchup that you think helped you guys create, you know, a, a bigger difference here in this second game? We knew we had to be more physical. We knew we had to make better passes. And then once we get a stop, we had to make the next best play and not get too caught up in our emotions. Because um, they're a physical team. They're, they're a great team. Um, so we just had to make the, the, the best decisions we could. <laughs> No, we're very excited <laughs> to get back there and especially hope to you know, go back to back. That's our goal. We, we've been talking about it since the beginning of the season, the summer, um, and we're not we're not satisfied yet. So. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time.